friends. In this video, we're going to take you on a tour of this beautiful southwestern home. And for once, we got some snow on these hills. Let's jump right into it right after this intro. Folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we talk about buying, selling, and investing in real estate in Southern Utah, as well as all things Southern Utah. The period of homes is well underway, and we're about to check out this incredible home number 12. It's called the Hacienda. This property is 6,334 square feet. It has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, two stories, and a four car garage. Let's go have a look. Additionally, this property was valued at was valued at $4 million, but is already sold, and it sits on a 14-acre parcel. So the dwellers, this, this development has uh, really, really large parcels, and they back up to the mountain. It is an incredible community. It's like you're, what do you say, you're about 10 minutes out of town, Rex? Yeah, 10, and you're right by the local airport, and if you're into playing in the desert, about a 30 second drive down that road and you're out in on the back side of uh of the dunes yeah you can enter san hollow right through the dunes i think that actually connects to warner valley too so if yeah. you've got a good can am you can get anywhere you want the whole desert is at your disposal that is a massive parcel 14 acres is actually super unusual for southern utah right now and the community right across uh, has a private airport. Every, every home has a hangar and they have a private airstrip. It's cool. I love this massive driveway. Folks, if you're uh, following the parade of homes this year, I will put a card to um, the link to the rest of the parade video so you could see all the homes that we shot this year. So they direct the flow outside of the living room for now. Let's start in this bedroom. Friends, if you're wondering why are you just now seeing this footage from Parade of Homes six months later, it's because our life has been hectic. We were blessed with having a beautiful, healthy baby this March, and ever since then, our content has not been on schedule. We have been kind of all over the place, and I try to post these videos regularly. We still don't have a regular editor, so as you see behind me, a lot of this content gets shot, edited, and processed by me. And on top of that, we have not dialed back on helping all of our clients. All the wonderful folks that see these videos and reach out to us, please do not stop doing that because we absolutely love what we do and this is a part of what's keeping us sane. So if you're even remotely considering moving into Southern Utah or living here in St. George, if you see yourself living here, I can assure you that you will not be disappointed with that decision. But the only thing that could potentially disappoint you is if you move into the wrong neighborhood. I cannot tell you which neighborhood is right for you unless you're able to share a few pieces of information with me. Michonne and I know this area backwards and forwards and sideways. So if you could just reach out to us and tell us a few things that are very important to you in terms of your lifestyle or some of the amenities, we will be sure to put you in touch with the right neighborhood or possibly even the right property. So feel free to reach out to us anytime nights, days, weekends. We're standing by and we're happy to help. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of this video. We also have a couple more Parade of Homes videos coming to this channel as I'm just now getting through these edits, as well as lots and lots of Southern Utah local information that may be helpful for your move. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like so that more people can see this video and more people could benefit from this content. Thanks. Plus the doors are pretty cool. There's arches everywhere.
It's got a very consistent theme. I really like a lot of this lighter oak that we see. Yeah, I don't see a lot of white oak anymore. Honestly, that is an active discussion going on in there. Let's check out this other bedroom. A really good size laundry room that joins. Actually, we'll enter the master through the laundry. So the laundry room connects to the master dressing. How do you feel about that gold hardware? That is something else. I have a feeling we have heated floors, so that's nice view out there. Wow. Can you imagine waking up to that view? That is something. Another, another Samsung frame right here. Hi. Good, how are you? That's a beautiful view. <laughs> you get to stare at it all day. <laughs> it's like a picture. I take it in all day too. Yeah. <laughs> I might come out of this a better person. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the goal? <laughs> Look at those beams. Okay, so this is the laundry room, the second door into the laundry room that we just saw. Also takes us back that way. Yes. Ah, so now it mazes us through into the living room. This space is just massive and the fireplace feels appropriate right now. We have a lot of clients that really want to have a fireplace in Southern Utah and I often question that use because it's hot more often than cold. But when it's but done right. Days like today, you could really appreciate it. Look at the size of this kitchen. It's incredible. I love this open space. Is a dual island, one with the waterfall, the other one without the waterfall. Signature series appliances with fridges hiding behind you. There's a giant slider that just opens back to the pool. And the covered beam detail over the dining table is a really nice touch too. Do you expect this, Rex? What's that? Do you expect this from this house? No, honestly, I was not expecting this. It's like here. Take a look at the wallpaper in this bath. I mean, you for a while back. Right, but I mean, to get out on the back. Oh, we missed Chef's Kitchen. Yes, we did. So there's a double oven, sink, and that is a hidden pantry. When it closes, it just matches the rest of the cabinets. It's not an overwhelming size, but it's perfect. I really like the separation between the pantry and the chef's kitchen, which we've been seeing in a few homes. So we've circled this area, and then I think that just takes us straight out. Oh yeah, we haven't been upstairs yet. I love all the massive windows. It looks so good. Let's go this way first. The craft room. No, oh, laundry room. An upstairs laundry. 
It's nice to have two laundry rooms so you don't have to go downstairs to do laundry. And typically if you have children, they take the upper floor. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. That's a neat retro touch. You don't really see those day beds or benches by the window anymore, which I think is pretty cool. Some pretty cool tile in this bath and floor to ceiling tile in the shower. And another big theme of this parade is the bunk bedrooms. So this Jack and Jill opens to a set of two dual bunks. That's pretty cool. Good use of space. I like how they're offset and not just stacked. That's black vanity. Mm -hmm. That's a cool little hangout area. I'm a little surprised they don't have a grill right there. That'd be a great spot for a grill. There's probably an outdoor kitchen downstairs on the lower level. We'll go outside and check it out. You can see the tennis court from here, which is kind of cool. It's a 14 acre parcel, which is pretty abnormal for this area. You know, median. Median lot size is less than a half an acre. This does it for the second floor. Let's go check out the garage. These floors are definitely not heated. <laughs> no, that's kind of handy though. Dog wash? Yeah. That's the dog wash of all dog washes. Yes, it is. There it is. There we go. The exterior kitchen with coyotes, appliances. I'm glad that it finally stopped snowing, even though it was cool to see. out for the drip. Man, talk about rare privacy. Yeah. And there's a sweet putting grin right out front. It's actually a miniature course, it's not just a putting green. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking around this long into this video. We do value your opinion, so please let us know if you love this floor plan, if you would see yourself living here, or if it's absolutely not your cup of tea. And of course, if you would like to design a home of your own and you're ready for your southern utah adventure do not hesitate to call us text us or email us we can put you in touch with the right builder that could build an incredible custom home similar to this one or even better because it would be your own make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend check out our playlists for all of 2022 brave homes homes and i will see you in the next one